Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are testing out something that is called a powder cream. I don't know why, but for me, that kind of makes my mind go, like, is it gonna feel like a powder? Is it gonna leave weird powdery kind of a feeling on my skin? I'm not really sure. I have never tried anything from this brand. This is a brand called Ryer. I hope I'm saying that right. It's R-Y-O-R. -R. This is the mattifying cream with powder effect. This has marine algae in it. It is going to keep all of your shine from happening, which for me, it doesn't really matter what I use. I have combination skin and halfway throughout the day, I am like an oil slick no matter what, but the surface of my skin is dry. So it's really kind of frustrating because I'm looking for things to hydrate my skin, but also not make it oily. So that is my constant battle. This seems like something that's really interesting to me. It's $22, which is not crazy expensive. That is for skincare, in my opinion, affordable. I'm gonna be using this today as my moisturizer and as my primer, and then we're gonna be doing check-ins throughout the day to see if I stay more shine-free than normal. And the foundation that I'm gonna use is the Era, Era Brush Foundation, which we all know I love. But the reason I'm using this is it's more neutral. It's not a dewy finish. It's not a matte finish. It's just something that's kind of natural. So I didn't wanna like put a mattifying product on top of a mattifying, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanna see if this will work some extra magic. It does say that this is suitable for normal combination oily or acne prone skin. So if you have dry skin, this is not gonna be the best thing for you. You probably want something with a little bit more moisturization. I believe this is made in the Czech Republic. Oh, that comes right out. It's just a clear cream. Kind of feels like a gel. Doesn't really feel like dimethicone or like silicone -y or thick like that. Has a slight floral fragrance to it. It does very, very much feel like a gel though. I'm not detecting any powder sensation. All right, what the heck, let's just put it on the face. Okay, so I'm going to take just like half a pump because I think less is more when it comes to moisturizer or primers especially. I'm not gonna get it underneath my eye. Oh my gosh, you guys, do not put mattifying products under your eye. You will have the worst creases of your life. I'm surprised by how nice that feels and it sinks right in actually. Like it kind of feels like I have nothing on my skin, but my skin feels to the touch very silky and it does have kind of that, not powdery feel, but you know when you touch the top of a powder compact, like it has that kind of a weird feeling. Hmm, I like it. <laughs> All right, so that was kind of boring. I mean like, ooh, she's putting on moisturizer, but the real test and the real fun of trying this product out is gonna be seeing how the foundation holds up throughout the day. So I'm gonna slap on a little foundation. I kind of was curious on camera to see how it applied on top of this cream, if it like grabbed at product or anything like that. So I'm gonna spray my beauty blender. I'm not gonna spray my face. I learned my lesson, we all know. And I'm just going to dab this on. Something I've learned with this foundation is the less you move it around, the better. So my foundation went on really nice. I was a little bit concerned because of that powder finish that it would drag or apply a little bit weird, but everything applied as normal. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup. I will be right back and then we'll just do a ton of check-ins and see if this is something that you know we all are going to obsess over because if this keeps my face from being shiny, I'm gonna be using it every day of my life because it's a current problem that is driving me insane. And as the weather gets warmer and warmer and warmer, my face gets shinier and shinier and shinier. All right, I'll be right back. And the rest of my makeup is on and it is turning into one of those days where you're like, you know what? The makeup looks good, the hair does not. Bam, you know, I have to say it's hot and my face is not melting down. So I feel like this powder cream is doing something. It does even feel really, really powdery on your hands. The more I was playing around with it while getting ready, I like the consistency of it. And I think this is gonna do a good job. I'm really, really excited and hopeful that it will do a really good job. Now I didn't use any other primers today, so I do feel like I wish I had used a professional or something in this region here to kind of minimize the look of things because that's what I'm used to. But as far as like texture, everything went on so smoothly. There's nothing oily or greasy or weird. My skin feels really good. So I have high hopes for this, you guys. High, high, 
hopes. And it's only been an hour on, but we're still good. And I'm going to check in throughout the day as the day progresses and things potentially melt down. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. It is gloriously still not shiny and I can't even get over it. Usually I am a greasy, greasy, oily mess by now, especially with how hot it is outside. So this is really fantastic. I think I am loving this product. And oh gosh, the sun keeps climbing me. Sunshine. This is the part where I say how beautiful you are. Really, your makeup's look great today. Thank you. And the moment that um, I shut my camera off, I have some actual cover from the sun so that you guys can see without touch-ups. Look how nice this is doing. I mean, my skin naturally gets a little bit glowy, but this is better than it normally is, so. I'm impressed. Was I really going around in public like this? Ignore the German Shepherd next door. It's just gonna continue happening. Uh, she's a little feisty at this hour. You guys, I was like a maniac in really nice stores today. I literally tripped and almost fell into a rack of clothing. And like my instinct was to not fall, of course. So I wanted to like grab onto the clothing, but then that would have been like a lot of money and damage. So I didn't but I made such a fool of myself at least like five different times. Does anybody else ever get really kind of uncomfortable in very fancy places where you know you're not supposed to touch anything and you're supposed to just like, hmm. So um, yes, it's been a crazy day planning for our trip. I am so pleased with this product though. I'm packing it with me. This is amazing. I cannot even tell you how nice it is to have a cream that has a beautiful powder finish and have just like a nice hydrated feel but nothing like nothing was tight but everything stayed very matte it did get a little bit shiny because that's just what my skin wants to do if I'm moving around a lot I'm out in the sunshine it's just gonna happen but my makeup didn't break apart the way that it normally does and I didn't need to put on more powder or use a blotting sheet what I did do is I took a velour puff and if I felt like I was a little shiny I kind of do this business and it really helps take things down. So my makeup has been on all day long. It's 8.36 right now, so I'm like done with my day. The whole face has been on for about 10 hours. I think that's good enough to say that this gets a huge thumbs up. I think this is incredible. Everybody should get it, $22, not sponsored at all. I don't know about this company at all, actually. Um, so I'm curious to try more products. If you have um, heard of this line, let me know in the comment section below, but I think it's pretty dang cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I love you so much for spending time with me and hanging out, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.